Welcome to MagiToots. In this video, we will have a look at how to create a GIF in Canva. However, I'm well aware that some people may say GIF. The funny thing is that I have just recently seen a statement of the actual inventor of GIFs and he clearly stated that these should be called GIFs instead of GIFs. Well, now that we have sorted that out, let's dive right into it. So how can you actually create a GIF in Canva? Well, basically any video clip that you can find in Canva itself or that you upload to Canva can be used as a GIF. So for example, this breakdancer that I added here to the first page, this is actually a video, can indeed be used as a GIF. I'm just going to play the sequence here for a second. And this short sequence can indeed be used as a GIF. All you need to do to actually use it as a GIF is to click here on download in the top right corner and then under file type simply make sure to choose GIF. Now what most GIFs usually have in common is that they are really short. So that said, whenever you have a video, you usually want to make sure to only use a small portion of that video to turn it into a cool GIF. So in my case here, I actually reduced the size here from 5 to 1.3 seconds. If you don't know how to change the video length, you can actually simply click here on this um, scissor symbol and there you can adjust the length of the video sequence. So in our case it's 1.3 seconds, the original length here was um, 5.8 seconds. So for a GIF usually you want to choose something that is maybe about uh, 1 second long, but yeah this is up to personal preference of course. And the cool thing is here now that when you change the lens, you can actually see Canva automatically loops the selection. That is obviously great because GIFs are usually playing all over again, as you surely know. And like this, you can get a good idea how this actually is gonna look once you exported it as a GIF. Now, another way to create a GIF in Canva is to simply use photos and elements from Canva's very own library. So in this case here, I went to photos here in the left sidebar and I searched for um, cats. Then I simply added one of these lovely cat pictures. Then I went over to elements. I was searching for um, cats there as well and I added this lovely cat element here. Now this is obviously not yet a GIF because nothing is moving in there, so that would be very boring. It's, it's just really a static image so far. So to make this a cool GIF, you can simply click here on, uh, on this cat element or any other element that you added uh, on top of your picture. Then you would choose animate here from the top toolbar. And now to make this a GIF, we are going to choose one of these animations. In our case, we will simply go here with rice. And once you hover over this, uh, and once you hover over the animation, you will immediately get a preview on how this is going to look like. Simply click on the desired animation to activate it. You can then always preview your clip by clicking here on the preview button. And as you can see, our animation is working perfectly. If the preview is lagging a little bit, then this is nothing to worry about. This is most probably just due to a bad internet connection. And once your GIF is exported, this should be all smooth. Now, yet another way to make use of GIFs in Canva is to use a pre-made Canva GIF. To find this GIF, simply head over to Elements here in the left sidebar and then search for GIF. And then it is best here to select graphics and you will then see that we get a lovely selection of different GIFs here. I'm just going to delete our cat here for a second and let's suppose I would like to have one of these GIFs on top of our cat here. I could simply click on these elements or you can also drag and drop it directly into the project and then resize them to your liking. So these are the basic methods that you can use to create GIFs in Canva. Now let's quickly talk about how to actually export these GIFs. The basic method to export anything as a GIF is to click here on download in the top right corner and then just make sure that under file type it is saying GIF. 
This works fine as long as you have a background and then maybe just put some GIFs on it. You can indeed download that as a GIF without any problem. However, if your project just consists of one single GIF, as is the case here, then when you download that, you will then have the problem that the GIF will always come with a background. So in our case here, that means when we download this as a GIF, the background of this GIF will always be visible. So in this case, when we download it, we will have this white background behind the GIF will still be visible. And this could indeed be a problem because if you would like to use this GIF independently, maybe on some other footage, then you would need to make sure that you can download your GIF with a transparent background. However, Canva doesn't offer the functionality to download GIFs with a transparent background. You can indeed download PNGs with a transparent background, but also only if you are a Canva Pro user. However, downloading GIFs with a transparent background doesn't work and that is the case with both Canva Free and Canva Pro. However, I indeed found a little workaround that you can use in case you would like to export GIFs from Canva and then later on use them without the background. So here's how you do it. First of all, head over to Elements again in the left sidebar and then search for Green Screen. Now what we actually would like to choose here is this green screen picture here. However, as you can see, this is a Canva Pro element, so we won't be able to use that one. But don't worry, I found a way to get this workaround working even for Canva free users. So what we will do instead is we will use this picture here instead. Let me just quickly delete our Facebook like GIF for a moment. Later on, we're going to reinsert it. And then I will simply drag and drop our picture here into our project. And now what we are going to do is the following. We are going to reduce the zoom level here to about 20 or 25%. And then we are going to enlarge that picture as much as possible. So that only the green portion is visible on our page. Once that is done, we will go back to our original zoom level at about uh, 50 or 53 percent doesn't really matter and depends on your screen and now i'm going to search for facebook like here under elements i will head over to graphics because i want to reinsert our facebook like gif so i will just drag and drop that into the project again we'll make sure that it's centered on the page and now we would download that with this green screen. So you're probably wondering why the hell do we need this green background? Didn't you just say that we want to end up with any background at all? Well, you are actually right, but in order for us to achieve that, we need this green screen background and you will see why in a second. So please just trust me on that. So the next step is to click here on download in the top right corner and then choose um, GIF as the file type. And make sure to only download this very page with the GIF and the green screen background. In my case, this is page 2. So I would just um, select page 2 here. And once I selected that, I will go to done and then click on download. Once you have downloaded your GIF with the green screen background, you will need an external video editing software such as DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. There are many options here, some of these are free and some of these are paid. In my case, we are going to use Premiere Pro. So I will head over to Premiere Pro. And now here in Premiere Pro, I have already inserted our Facebook like here on our green background. And now there's a little hack that lets us remove this green background for good so that later on we can actually layer our GIF on any kind of video footage that we want. So here's how you do it. Head over to effects here and then search for ultra. What we are looking for is the ultra key effect. So I'll click on the ultra key effect and then I will drag and drop this effect onto our green screen track in the timeline. Once that is done, go into effect controls here and search for ultra key and search for key color and then click here on this symbol next to the key color. Now the last thing that you need to do is to click here somewhere on the green screen background and see what happens. And boom, the green screen background is gone. Which means that we now actually have our GIF with a transparent background. 
Well, you might say the background is black now, that's not transparent. But that's actually not true because black is just the standard background in Premiere Pro. And to prove my point, I'm going to insert another video into my Premiere Pro project, maybe one of my last tutorial videos, which was how to trim audio in Canva. So I'm going to drag and drop that into the timeline as well. Now I have to make sure that our green screen background clip is um, actually layered on top of this video clip. So I will just drag that to the video track three here and I will move it back a little bit. And now when we play our footage, you will see that our GIF is now indeed on top of our video foot and doesn't contain this annoying green background anymore. There you go, pretty cool, right? In case you don't have Premiere Pro, as mentioned before, you can also use any other type of video software. In most of these video softwares, it will indeed be possible to remove the green screen background because using green screens in video editing is very, very popular and is used for many different things. So in case you don't have access to Premiere Pro, don't worry. You will definitely find another tutorial for your video software that will show you how to remove the green screen background once you exported your GIF from Canva with a green screen. Just make a quick Google search and you will definitely find an answer to that. And that's really it. This is how you create and use GIFs in Canva. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. And in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day, guys. Bye.